Welcome everyone. Evangelist Rebecca Noel here. It is time to talk about preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Just like he said that he was going to prepare mansions for us, then he will come back and meet with us in the sky. That which he said is about to happen. I'm here to talk up to you about what will give you eternal life. Life that you will live forever and ever and ever. I'm not here to talk to you about what is temporary, how you can get rich, how you can get money here on earth. It is temporary. Our life here on earth is temporary. Our stay on earth is temporary. If you run after money here on earth, know that, remember that your stay on earth is temporary. It's, it is just but for a short time. So if you focus on getting rich here on earth, where will you go at the end? Will you die at the end or you, will you live? If you focus on heaven and Jesus, you will live at the end. But if you focus on money and getting rich, you will die at the end when you go to hell. So it is time to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord. In case he tarries, it is time to prepare ourselves so that if we die, we can, when we die, we'll go to heaven and live life forever. To go to heaven where there is water, there are beaches, there are films acted by angels that you can watch. There are cars that you can drive. You don't need to learn to how to drive it. You just see it. Enter the car, you sit down and the car will take you wherever you want to go. You don't even need to tell it where you want to go. It knows. And I goes where you want to go at that time. There's food, there's water, there are mansions in heaven. So why not do what will cause us to go to heaven and live forever? Focus on the Lord Jesus. Concentrate on, the, on that which will take you to heaven. What I'm here to talk about. Rather than focusing and concentrating on things of, of here, of, of the earth, like money is temporary. The way you look is temporary. Rabbi Akosa, and all things that will cause you to enter hell. If you don't prepare yourself for going to heaven, that means you are preparing to go to hell. It is either you prepare to go with Jesus or you prepare to go to heaven when you die or you do nothing. Doing nothing means you are ready, you are preparing yourself bit by bit to go to hell. But I was like, time to change our ways and make our decisions. Decide where do you want to go at the end because no one is going to stay here on, earth on, temp on permanent basis. One day you will have to leave this earth. Where do you want to go when you leave this earth? Do you want to go to hell and burn and burn and burn and burn forever? Or you want to go to heaven and live and live and live forever? There is unity in hell. One thing, maybe that is why you want to go to hell because there is unity. They are united in the effect that you find people who do one thing in, in the same area. If they are sent to hell for smoking cigarettes or taking drugs, you find people who are smoking cigarettes or are taking drugs in one area. If they are sent to hell because they are prostitutes, you find prostitutes in one area. If they are sent to hell because they were, they were fornicating or committing adultery, you find a place of fornicators on, in one place, a place of adulterers in one place. Is that why you want to go to hell? You want to be, go and be united with liars like you? And I go, sir, or thieves like you will be stealing from each other. Even though there's nothing in hell, they'll still be stealing from each other. And I go, sir, is that the reason why you want to go to hell, hell and burn? Be stealing, you want to go and be stealing while you're burning? You want to go and be telling lies while you're burning as long as you've got, you're with the other liars? Why not choose to go to heaven and prepare yourself to go to heaven? Where there is life, you're not limited. You want to go and swim, you can go and swim. You want to go and ride horses, you can go and ride horses. You want to go and watch movies, acted by angels, you can go and watch movies. You want to go and be at the beach, you can go and be at the beach. You want to go to your mansion and eat food, you can go and eat man food in your mansion. You want to go and visit your friends, you can go and visit your friends. In hell, you can't do that. You are grounded. They chain you. You can't move even two meters from where they will have chained you. You stay there forever. And the Bible says, and they say that will be you forever and ever without stop. Stopping. Is that what you want? The decision, the decision is up to you. No one can change it for you. It is you that decides and it is you that chooses. And where you choose is where you find yourself. If you choose that I want to go to heaven, you find yourself in heaven because it's by choice. 
But if you choose that, you are bothered about the life of this earth that is temporary. All you want is to make money and make money and make money and make money. It's your choice. But with that, your money, you find yourself in hell. Unfortunately, you cannot take the money with you to hell. The Bible says, so why focus and concentrate on things that are temporary, things of this earth, that you live here on earth when you go? The Bible says, I would rather concentrate on heaven because the things that I go, I do here on, on earth, I'll get them in heaven. My reward here, whatever I do here on earth and I get a reward, my reward is in heaven. When I go to heaven, I'll find my reward. But if you do what will take you to hell, when you get to hell, you will not get a reward. Because of those things that you are doing that cause you to enter hell. But if you do what is right for the Lord, when you enter heaven, you see your mansion, you see so many rewards for you, you see your crowns for doing what is right for the Lord here on earth. It is time for us to, to change and decide and make our minds. Where do you want to end up? It is the girl. Don't even have a Bible.
give them away so that Jacob could throw them away so that they would, they would be able to, to worship the living God, the God of heaven's army. They could not worship the living God with the other gods. But we are worshiping the living God with other gods. We've got these altars in our houses. We go to church, we serve in the house of God, we've got titles. After service, we go home, we've got altars. We go to our altars. I don't know whether they are shrines, they are altars, whatever you keep in your house. You know it as long as you know that it's not of God, but you've got it in your house and you use it. I don't know what you use it for. Rabbi Akosa, I, I was surprised one day I saw what one woman brought. This woman is a child of God that has been serving in, in the other world for more than 10 years. She was known as a Christian, but one day she now decided to bring all those other gods that she had in her house. I was surprised to see even coffins. She had a coffin where she was keeping people, the people that she was against. If she did not want them to progress or make progress, she was she had coffins, she had got this, so many things in her house. Rabbi Akosa, maybe you are one of those people that have got things like that in your house. Things that are not of God, according things, altars that you keep in your own house. We're not talking about going to an altar or to Babalao out there. We're talking about what you have got in your house. You have got to get rid of them. Tell them to your pastor. Tell your pastor to destroy them. Just like the wives of Jacob had to give them to Jacob and Jacob had to destroy them. You have got to do the same. Go to your pastor. It's never too late. Tell your pastor. It doesn't matter how long I've been in the church. Tell him, pastor, now I've changed my mind. I don't want to be serving on these altars. I don't want to keep these things anymore. They are not of God. They are of the devil. Give them back. To, give them to your old pastor. Your pastor will take them and bend them or destroy them. And now you can follow the Lord. When you die, you know you can enter heaven. Besides that, you cannot enter heaven. There's no way you can enter heaven when you are serving on altars. When you've got an altar in your own house and you think you die you'll be able to enter heaven heaven will not welcome you the moment you keep those altars those things in your house know that the day you die hell will welcome you there's a section for people like you and you go and join others like you who have got altars things that like that in their houses that they use especially against other people maybe it's people's photos whatever so many things that you cannot even understand you cannot even explain but they know what what they are some have got locks that they use to lock people down whatever or they tie people in trees whatever is not of god is of the devil as children of god all we know well, all we know to do is to pray we don't use anything else anything occultic or demonic we don't build altars in our houses we don't have shrines or, or, or what do you call it? Some of them have got like what it represents a, a, a place where they bury people. And when they want to bury people's blessings, they go and place, they go and throw it there and say, This one has been, this one is buried. Or they go and, and, and bury it there. It, and they say this one is buried. If it is a gift, a talent, whatever that belongs to someone else, they've got it places in their own home where they bury it. Or maybe it's a coffin. They go and put it in their coffin and say this one is buried, it's dead. If they don't want people to talk to you, they put it in that that coffin and say this one no one will talk to. I've, I'm putting them in this coffin. It's not of God. It's of the devil. Rabbi Agosa, I cannot explain because I I don't know. Those who do it, they know better. They, you know what you do is of the devil. Maybe it's just cursing, you pronounce cursing words, you call it case. Some of them, they just say, call it cursing, cursing. That your cursing will take you to hell. Because there's no one that curses others in heaven. All those that curse, curse others, they are in hell. There's a place for people who curse others in hell. So if you are cursing others, know that you are preparing yourself to go to hell. You are not preparing yourself to go to heaven. When you want to prepare yourself to go to hell, heaven, you love others. The ones that were cursing, you love them. The ones that were fighting against you, you love them. The ones that were speaking against and accusing, you love them. Why? Because Jesus said, love one another. So if you are a follower of Jesus and you want to enter heaven, you have got to change from cursing them and do whatever you are doing to them to loving them. Rabbi Akosa, we have got to realize that the Bible tells us in Genesis 35, 2 to the 4, that they gave Jacob earrings as well. But we are wearing earrings. Yet the Bible is telling us that they gave their earrings to Jacob. This is why when the children of Israel were in Egypt, they did not have earrings. Because they had taken off their earrings, their jewelry. They had given to Jacob. 
before they went to Egypt. And Jacob got rid of them. So when they were in Egypt, they did not have earrings. They did not have jewelry. Jacob had taken from them. The only time they had jewelry in Egypt was when they were leaving to Egypt, when the Lord asked them to ask for jewelry. But remember that when the Lord asked them to ask for jewelry, he did not say put the, put the jewelry on. He only said ask for it. He was going to tell them what to do with it. But they were too quick to put it on. Greed, they were like, okay, now we'll be like uh, them, those that were wearing jewelry. But he, God never said they should wear it. They, he just said ask for it. Because he wanted to use it to build the, the things that were going to be used in the sanctuary of the Lord. It was not for them to put on. But those that are greedy, they thought it was an opportunity for them to put it on. The Bible tells us in Exodus 32, 2 to 4 says, Aaron said to them, Tear off the gold rings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters. And bring them to me. Three. Then all the people tore off the gold rings which were in their ears and and brought them to Aaron. So Rabbi Akosa, why? Because the Bible says they were told to take them off. They were never told to put them on. Rabbi Akosa, but the devil is using it as an advantage because he knows that people don't know. People are putting, putting them on because they don't know. So when they die, the devil is now taking them to hell because they don't know. He knows because he knows the word. If we read the word, we will know for ourselves so that the devil will not be able to accuse us. He will look for it, for it on us, he will not find it. Therefore, he, he will not even try us because he, he will know that we know. But when we don't know, we perish. That is why the word says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. The Bible tells us in Judges 8, 24 to 25. 24 says, thus the sons of Israel did not... Oh, sorry. 24 says, Yet Gideon said to them, I would, I would request to you, request of you that each of you give me an earring from, from his spoil. So Gideon asked them to give them earrings from the spoil. Let me go on. For they had gold earrings because they were Ish Ishmaelites. 25. They said, we will surely give them. So they spread out on a garment and every one of them threw an earring from the spoil. So this was Gideon. He asked the children of Israel to give him the earrings. They were not allowed to keep the earrings from the spoil. Therefore, they were not allowed to put on the earrings. This, is, this was after they left Egypt. The earrings were taken from them. Aaron took the earrings from them. But we are going back, taking back those earrings and putting them on. Yet we know that 
We know that Gideon took away the earrings from the children of Israel. We know that Aaron, Aaron took away the earrings from the children of Israel. We know that Jacob took away earrings from the children of Israel. Why are we then putting on what was taken away from them? We cannot be putting on what was taken away from them and expect heaven to welcome us. It is not possible. If we want to enter heaven, we have got to do what the word is telling us to do. Put them off. Take them away. It's up to you. I'm only here to tell you what the word says and what is happening. What will happen when you die. If you want to put on your jewelry, you want to put on your earrings, it's up to you. But I've shown you where the earrings were taken from the people of Israel. So when you die, the devil will use such verses to accuse you and say, you're wearing jewelry, so how can you enter heaven? It will be unfortunate if you die with the jewelry on you, on you, you cannot enter heaven. Because the picture they've got of you in heaven is the picture of you without the earring. The moment you've got an earring, you cannot enter heaven. If you want to enter heaven, you've got to be the way you were when God made you. You can't be having a foreign body on you and expect to enter heaven. Foreign bodies like earrings, the jewelry, the rings, whatever ring it is, fake hair, ear, fake lashes, makeup, you cannot enter heaven. If you are ready to go to heaven, you have got to take away all those things and be yourself the way God made you. That is the only way you can enter heaven. It is time to change our way and live knowing that we are living at the end of the age. If we want to go with the Lord on the day he appears, we have got to take away, take off all those things. There is no way the trumpets can sound today and the Lord appears in the sky and you have got your earrings and your jewelry and your fake hair and you think you can go with him. It's not possible. You will see others go up with him and go with him. You, you cannot be lifted. You cannot be translated. Why? Because of the fake hair, the earrings, the jewelry on you, the makeup. You, you cannot. Rabbi Akosa, it is up to you. If you die today with those, your fake, your earrings, your fake hair, your makeup, you will just walk to hell straight. You will not go through the way, if you are going through the way of judgment, you cannot enter heaven with all, all those fake things.